you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Chairman, to the political leader, and to my colleagues on the platform here tonight, and to all those who are listening via the World Wide Web, and particularly those in the Grenadines, and to be specific, the Southern Grenadines, I want to say a very special good night. Now, I, I have a bet on tonight that I could speak for five minutes. Um, and I intend to do so. But then five minutes for me to... <laughs> Thanks, Julian. But then five minutes for me to speak about my stewardship in the southern Grenadines is like a drop of rain in an ocean compared to the 19 years of human service that I've given to the people of that particular constituency. Yeah. Now, I have carried to the, for them their hopes, their dreams, their aspirations, and I've taken it to the highest forum of the land. And uh, every single project, be it infrastructural or social, I have had my handwriting and have been at the negotiating table in, and particularly been involved in the execution of those particular projects on their behalf. Now, one may say that in the constituencies of the Grenadines, and I always liaise with my, my, my young brother, Carlos, with the Northern Grenadines here, that there's something called political bondage. But whenever there is any form of bondage, God himself intervenes. He doesn't always come himself, but he sends a messenger. And he has sent me to the people of the Southern Grenadines to awake them from their slumber yes. and to remove from the bondage that they have had for almost over 50 years with the hope that they will see the new dawn yes. and they will see the new vision because there are always those who have been around so long that they are drunk with the old wine. The old wine that was served at the marriage feast. And that when the new wine came along, they were unable to taste the new wine. Because they were already drunk with the old. They have an opportunity once again. This time, to vomit the old wine. And to imbibe the new wine which is better by far with Snaggy and the Unity Labour Party. One may say that Edwin Snag has applied for this job before and Julian Francis, I don't want you to make any comments because I've applied for this job continually and they know that. But when a man applies for a job on a continual basis, it's because he wants it. Yeah. And not only does he want it, but he deserves it. And this is my plea to the people of the Southern Grenadines tonight. It's because I deserve to have that job that I'm applying for tonight. Because my concern is not who you have given the job before. You know that, that they have not functioned. You have heard it from them many times. Can't do nothing. I in opposition. I can't help. And they will remain there. And I think that the time has come. For you to take into consideration that when you knock on my door at midnight, that I answer. That's right. 
And when you knock at my door in the wee hours of the morning, that I answer. And when in the heat of the midday sun, you come to find me wherever I am, I respond to your needs. And I've carried your hopes and your dreams and your aspirations. But then, if we consider ourselves as a people, we will come to the realization that at some point in our history, that there is a time when the change is not only about us, but the change is for the generations that are to come before us. And the Grenadines as a whole, and I speak now specifically for the Southern Grenadines, has never been involved in the economic, social, and cultural life of St. Vincent and the Grenadines as it is now. And I challenge <clears throat> my political leader that the level of expenditure and infrastructural development that has taken place in the southern Grenadines, that his constituency could in no way compare to what has been done in the southern Grenadines, <laughs> to what has been done in the south. And they know it. And it don't take any specific type of eyes to see it. Because they talk about it. They are mindful that it exists. But they just, some don't want to give the credit to Edwin Snag and the Unity Labour Party for the work that has been done. Somebody say labor. We read and we read it. But I promise Camelo that I will try to keep this thing down to a little five minutes and to honor this, this thing. Because I wrote, I wrote, I wrote, I wrote a little thing and I jot down some notes in the car and then I come out and I forget it. So, but to the people of the Southern Grenadines, I have come to you before and I come again. But I come because of love for my people. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only reason why I am here again tonight. Because you have told me no on so many occasions. And a man had to be brave and he had to be bold faced to come again. And to tell you that I want to serve you. Yeah. I come and ask you again because I love you. And so tonight, my five minutes will be honored and i want to thank camelo for for urging me to keep the thing tight and my 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 colleagues would have gone across all the all the parameters of of of, of the the work of the unity labor party and about the leadership of this great party so i don't have to repeat that so I keep my things specific to my constituency. I love them and I'm looking forward on the 5th of November. That when I am finished with this and they carted me away, that they could say in the Grenadines, that the very soil would say, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, Comrade Snag.